I've had loads of different jobs and loads of different careers in my life. Um, but one thing that sort of followed through all the way was it was often about education. And as time went on, I realized more and more that education was a real value to me, something that I thought was really important. So eventually that got to the point where I thought, well, the next stage to take this is by training to be a teacher. The reason I decided that I wanted to become a teacher was that my son struggled at school. Uh, and I decided that I wanted to help him as, as much as I could. Uh, so I actually volunteered and went into a local primary school with him and then supported him in class. Loved it so much that I continued. So I wanted to become a teacher probably from my year abroad um, because doing a languages degree you have to do a year abroad. So um, I taught in a primary school as an English assistant and it was such good fun. My French went up like that um, and it was really positive to see the impact that I was having on the children I was teaching as well. In my final year of undergraduate um, we had a module that was called Earth Sciences into School and I went and I taught at Newcastle Sixth Form College um, and I taught A-level Geology and Physics um, and I, I really, really enjoyed it, I loved it. Uh, most of my friends who've trained to be teachers took a route called GTP which means that you're based in a school all year uh, and I really like the idea of that and School Direct was the closest thing I could find to that where you spend all year in a school, you know where you're going to be um, you see the whole year out there, it feels like more like training on the job. I just felt that I was going to get a better um, education, if you want, from the school direct, being in the school from day one rather than um, at uni. I wanted a more kind of um, practical experience. I wanted to be initiated into school life from the 1st of September, which has been amazing, and not move around too much. I think it's really important to try and train in one school as much as possible. I would say the most valuable parts of the School Direct training year have been probably meeting together every now and again as we have done on these, on these training days. And I think on School Direct you've got the two people who run your course, so I've had um, Sheila and Carol who've been amazing, my mentor Sheila who's also my professional tutor in school and all the other colleagues so I've had support from loads of different places. The other School Direct students that you have, they're all in the same boat so you've always got a group that are the for assistance. Uh, because you're part of a smaller group, it's a bit more intimate, um, the people running it know who you are and um, you really feel like someone's looking out for you. I have managed to build a really strong relationship with the people that are also on the same course. So we've got like a little click almost that where we support each other um, and we email quite frequently and speak to each other on the phone and obviously have all the training sessions together as well so that's quite good and we can all share our experiences um, and see how we're going. I would say the most valuable parts of the School Direct training year have been probably meeting together every now and again as we have done on these, on these training days. I had uh, lots of lesson observations in the lead up to me taking my first lesson um, and I was able to watch lots of really good teachers um, within maths which is what I teach um, and also across different subjects so that was really good. They didn't throw me in the deep end, I took starter activities and I took bits and pieces before I took a whole lesson so actually the first lesson probably wasn't as memorable because I'd sort of got a bit used to it by then. When you try and do a lesson that really encourages the kids to think rather than just be spoon fed and, and they embrace it and that feels like you've really achieved something. I think my proudest moment of this year was getting my job. I've had the moments where a child suddenly goes, ah, oh, I get it. That's really, you know, that's for me, that makes it all worthwhile. After this course, I have a job lined up at the school that I was training at. Uh, which is Backwell School. I've got a job lined up next. Um, I was successful in the interviewing process. I'll be teaching at Churchill as a teacher of French and Spanish and I can't wait. Um, 
So I'm trying to focus on getting my Spanish level up to scratch, so hopefully maybe I can teach higher levels in the future. I'll be starting at Chew Valley School in September, so I'm really excited for that. I've got my first proper tutor group. So after finishing this NSTA year, I've actually got a job at Bordeaux School in Weston. Maybe the biggest thing is don't be afraid of mistakes. You are going to make mistakes. That's fine. Move on from it because that's like how you learn. My advice for anyone that's going to be training to be a teacher would be to be really mindful of your health because whilst you can really want to help other people and inspire the pupils if you're not remembering to look after yourself, um, then that's a problem. I think if I was going to do anything, um, tell a student teacher anything, it's that don't try and compare yourself all the time with other people, it's not a competition. And if you are struggling, everyone else is struggling as well.